Hey, I thought you were supposed to go to school today. I thought you were supposed to go to school today. Are you watching Harry and his bucket full of dinosaurs? <gasps> hey, look what you just did. Come on. I'm starting to worry about you going to school. I think you need to be ready to go. Look. Waiting for mom. You're waiting for mom? Mm -hmm. Are you tired? What kind of building do you want to build? Mm -hmm. Can I see your silver tooth? Let's see. So cool. <laughs> That's like coolest ever. One time, I did this one time. Not the first thing when I was in a different room. When I got my two silver, I saw a girl in the waiting room. And he had a silver tooth. And now you have a silver tooth, so if you ever see somebody waiting, you can tell them it's going to be okay. And, and they tell me what they're going to have a hey. silver tooth, and I say, hey. it's going to be okay. Your, it took a really long time. It did take a long time. Are your teeth sharp still or no? Let me see. They're still a little bit sharp? They're not scary. They just look nice. Uh-huh. She used to think that her teeth were scary because they were so sharp, so she would be afraid to smile in pictures. She didn't want to scare anybody because we would tell how sharp her teeth were. Um, but she's on her way to school. All right, it's Friday. We have to grocery shop, car wash. Mackenzie went to school. What? Dog is a dog. Dog is a little like Papa is a guy. Did you see a dog outside? Mm. Hey, where are we going to go? Check it. We're going to go get a rocket ship, right? At the grocery store? Oh, yeah. She found a flower. What color is that flower? Take your CC out. What color? Red. Red. Hold it. Hold it? Mm. Can you hold it for me? Ah! Silly girl. Busy day today. I've got to hurry up and do some grocery shopping. And then later on tonight, um, we've got some babysitters coming over and Luke and I are going to go to the temple. So that'll be nice. But before that can happen, I have a lot of stuff to do to get ready for the weekend. Luke has to work a lot next week. Like we're talking, we're not even going to see him next week. And that starts on Sunday. So I've got to go and buy him a bunch of like food for his lunchbox. Um, he's got to take like a cooler to work. And so uh, he'll have food and stuff at work and I'm sad. So he'll work a whole lot. I'll be like a single parent for a week, which is never fun. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna be texting and driving. Um, vlogging and driving and I know that's not good, but I've just got some thoughts that I want to get out. But. Um, I have decided, well Luke and I have decided that we need to get healthy. Like we've kind of let ourselves go and it's not been good. Since living on this island, so we've lived on this island two years, I've gained 20 pounds. Maybe not 20, maybe like 15. And then five of those pounds kind of fluctuate. Now, I am not saying that I am an overweight person because I don't feel like I'm an overweight person. However, I know that where I'm comfortable at of being like with my body, like I am not there. Um, and I don't want to get emotional, but I've always had a hard time um, like with my body. Um, in high school, um, I had an eating disorder. I just wouldn't eat. And looking back at pictures of myself, like in high school, I ran track and I cheered. And if you look at some of my track photos, like um, when I had my picture taken in my track, you know, my little track, whatever that was, um, my mom bought a package and I never, like I, I got the package and I would not let my mom put it in a photo frame. Um, I think that at that point in my life, that's when I saw myself and I thought, gosh, Jess, like you don't look healthy at all. Like you look like a little skeleton. Um, 
anyway, so it's just something I've always struggled with. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I've always struggled with numbers and how much I weigh on the scale and, um, yeah, like, I don't know. When I got to, co my phone is blowing up like crazy. When I got to college, um, I, I don't know, like, in, okay, first of all, in high school, I cheered. So I, I know that for me, I probably, like, compared myself to all these other girls that I was cheering with, and I wanted to stay small. Um, and so I did, and I did that with, um, I didn't eat. And I knew exactly what I needed to eat to just kind of maintain where I was without causing too much attention to myself for anybody to really see like I had a problem. Um, so I knew, I mean, I knew exactly, like, I didn't really count calories as much. I just knew what items I could eat to, like, stay where I was once I got really small. Um, it was so bad one time at high school, like, in high school, like, I, I hadn't eaten in a while. And, um, and I, I, uh, I got really dizzy in class. They had to call the school nurse. It was awful. And so they wound up calling my parents. And I can remember like my dad or my stepdad Jim he came and got me at school because they didn't want me to drive my car home and I remember he went to McDonald's and he got me like a Big Mac meal and I had to sit at the kitchen table and he made me eat the whole thing and I can remember being upset um, which I know he was just trying to you know like get me to eat something but I also know in the back of my mind that because I hadn't eaten food like that in a long time, I was just going to get sick. Um, and I knew I, my, my tummy had like, or my stomach had shrunk so much that I knew there was no way I could eat that Big Mac and, and French fry. Um, anyway, but I don't know why I'm saying all this. But anyway, but I, I don't know. Just, it's always there. It's like I'm always concerned about the way I look and then... You know, like when I go to post pictures on Facebook or I know I'm very critical of myself. Like if I don't like the way I look in the picture, I don't want to have it like on Facebook or I used to scrapbook a lot. And so I would, I'm not in hardly any of the pictures that I've scrapbooked over the years because, you know, if I don't like the way my hair looked or if I don't like the way my tummy bulged, bulged out in this area or if I felt like I had a double chin in that section, like I just wouldn't. I would have put it on there. So, anyway, we just had the Spartan race. And, uh, even though I completed the Spartan race, you know, I did it. I, I worked out a little bit, you know, working up to it. I could have worked out a lot more to prepare myself even more for the race. Um, I, but I'm, I'm a busy mom. Like, I don't have, I don't have two hours out of the day to work out constantly. Like, I wish I did, but I don't. And that's okay, you know, I know I need to eat better. I don't need to eat what my kids eat. I think that's my biggest problem is, you know, we sit, the girls sit down to have a goldfish snack. Well, guess what I'm gonna snack on? I'm gonna snack on goldfish because that's what's there. And I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. I should get up in the morning and have my, make myself a breakfast. Um, so I'm full and I'm not just feeding the kids breakfast to get them out the door and then come 10 o'clock I realize I'm like why am I starving I'm like oh yeah because I didn't eat breakfast and then I'm just grabbing what I can and it's not the healthiest stuff I should be eating anyway, so it's it's just one thing I need to work on so okay I've kind of gone off on a tangent but anyway so Luke and I have decided we want to get healthier we want to stop drinking a lot of sodas we want to drink more water we don't want to drink all the energy drinks that we drink because i'm going to tell you right now i probably have two sugar they're sugar free but two red bulls a day at least and it's it's just gotten habit it's not like i even feel the effects of an energy drink anymore it's like my body i've gotten it's almost like an addiction it's almost like i feel like i need to feel I need to taste the drink and feel the bubbles like in my mouth. It's so weird. Like I wake up in the morning and that's the first thing I want is I want a really cold Red Bull. And it's almost like somebody waking up and I guess wanting like a coffee first thing in the morning. Or if you've got smokers who wake up and they're like, oh, that, that morning cigarette, I just can't wait to have it, you know. I wake up and I was like, oh, like I just want to have that, that morning Red Bull. Um, 
so it's I guess it's kind of like an addiction that I need to overcome you know so I don't know we want to make some changes you know we have I have a gym membership um, and I should use it more because it's the child care the girls get to go play for free somebody watches my girls and I can work out it's sometimes it's just a pain getting up getting to the gym getting the girls out the door fixing their hair getting their water bottles and so I think a lot of it just comes to planning like if I the night before I need to probably you know make sure my gym clothes are laid out I might have to go I'm about to be somewhere where I'm not allowed to film um, so it's just a matter of planning you know planning meal plans snack plans breakfast plans it's all about planning and I think if I um, if I plan ahead and I'm prepared then it's gonna be easier to make healthier choices so that's our goal maybe Luke and I can start like a channel uh, on just like healthy like you know our thoughts and kind of like a journal of um, what we're doing to keep us more accountable so maybe we could do that I'll have to talk to him about it okay so I'm back I, I shouldn't be doing this vlogging thing and driving but I will okay, I am. so one of the first things that we're gonna do to um, get healthier and it's gonna be a little bit of a, a investment but we need to drink more water um, I think half the time if I keep cold like Diet Cokes or cold diet like Mountain Dews in the fridge like ready to go and then I'm thirsty I'm gonna open the fridge and I'm gonna grab a soda because it's cold and it's there so then I drink a little Luke will tell you I will take about two sips out of a soda and then I won't drink anymore because it has to be cold for me to drink it so as soon as it starts getting warm I won't touch it <laughs> and so I waste a lot of drinks when I so I'm thinking if if I need to invest in a $30 water bottle that's gonna keep it cold for me then I think it's gonna be worth it because I'm wasting here on the island I am wasting money on cases of Diet Coke and Diet Mountain Dew um, I hope this is not a one-way street okay no, I think I'm okay I'll find out soon um, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I had gotten Haley one of those hydro flask bottles and she loves it. Like it was worth every penny. She last year at school she would come home with like severe headaches and it's because she wasn't drinking enough at school. Now that she has this bottle, not she's drinking the whole entire water and then she's going and she's filling it up in her classroom. And um, I love it. I love it. So I have ordered Ammon, not a hydro flask, but it's something kind of similar. I've ordered him one, and um, go ahead, lady. You have the right away. Anyway, so now I am going to, um, I'm gonna go get Luke one because I feel like if I can, if he can take like, you know, a large amounts of like cold water or crystal light or, or, or something besides soda to work, then maybe he'll. Um, it'll keep it cold for him and then he won't drink all the sodas and the monsters that he drinks because um, I'm a Red Bull drinker and Luke is a monster drinker <sighs> and we spend a lot of money on those drinks I guarantee you we probably spend like a hundred and fifty dollars a month a month and we've always I don't know we've always not like Oh, this poor man wants to go. Go, honey. There you go. You're welcome. Um, oh, he's so cute. Little old man trying to cross the road. So, we've always kind of said that, you know what? We don't drink alcohol. We don't smoke. Um, you know, so if, we, if, if that's the one thing that we choose to do, then, oh, well. Like, it's, you know... It's, it's 150 bucks a month, but you know, we're not drinking, we're not smoking. There's a lot of people that spend, you know, four or $500 of that are probably more on that habit. And that's not a habit that we have. But my goodness, $150 just for that, like, it's not a whole week's worth of groceries, but you know, we, that, could, that could be like a date night. Or, you know what I don't like in parking lots? They got all these little smart cars and Fiats everywhere. And so when I go to park a car, I'm getting ready to pull in and then I realize there's a car parked there already. And it's like a freaking 
go kart. Anyway, everyone, I feel like everybody's staring at me, but I need to go because I should not be filming and driving. But as these thoughts come to me, I'm just kind of sharing. And honey, feel free to edit any and all of this out. Um, wait, these are just my thoughts. I'm sure Luke will make it sound all, all night, nice and neat. Hey, look at mom. What is that? Are you scared? What are you scared? What are you scared of? Is that a snake? What are you scared of? What are you scared of? He's in the body. Yeah. Oh, you saw the spider. Are you afraid of the spider? Look at mom. Look at me. What are you afraid of? The spider? 